Good morning, Pisces. How are you doing? Good morning to all. Today is Monday, and thank you, Lord Jesus, for waking me up to see this beautiful day. It is the 4th of July. Treat this day like if it was a, uh, a full moon. There's a lot of things going on tonight. At 12 o'clock tonight is the 5th, uh, July the 5th, and is pretty big. So look into it. And I mean, I don't know if there's a lot of people are talking about it on YouTube, but really start paying attention because your life is, is going to change for not caring, like that kind of stuff. It's a good thing. Um, I'll get into some more throughout the day. Um, but let's get into this reading. Ooh -wee. Thank you all for those who like and share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for all those who watched me last night. Thank you very much. Thank you for all those who go onto my web and purchase the Black Magic Spellbreaker candle. This candle is for anybody that's doing voodoo negative things towards you or thinking of speaking all negative. Okay, on there, also read all of this because it says everything for you to do. Okay, this is the Abundance, Prosperity, Health candle. All right, my red candle on my online is called the Love Candle. Um, to bring whatever you want, but this to me is the Love Yourself candle. I made it in red, it comes in. Pink, not red. If you want to use oils, which I do, get, you can get it in a um, dry form or in the wet form and to put into any of your products or what you're doing. This is the walnut, which everybody should have. It's nothing to play with. All right. The walnut bath can do bring all things to you and show you what it's about. If it's a hurricane outside and shit ain't right with you, it's just like the, um, but it's, it's, it's within you, right? Make sure you read the subscription on the web so that you can know how to use it the proper way. If you like, I also have my salt bath, which this is my cave salt, okay? It's just like going to the beach. It's the same that effect, you know, the little sand, you know, it's yes. Um, I also have herb bath. I have uh, baths that you can take a bath and also wash your house with. I also sell jewelries. I sell all kinds of stoves. Uh, my palos, uh, I, I sell pineapple sage that comes with two um Palo Santo. If you go in there, you will see that it's a lot there to be offered. I definitely go, I'm all into my third eye, my um, evil eye. I'm, I make sure that I'm really, literally all into that because you don't never know. And it's not saying to anybody is negative that's watching me, but you don't know. Oh, I don't know what you're going through, okay? Or the people that you are surrounded by. Alright. So that's a lot to do with that. Alright. So let's get into the reading. Art Michael Jonah Art. I ask you to remove my energy from this reading. Alright. Let's go with it. Um, this card deck that I got right here. Um, it's doing its own thing. And normally I fix it. But. I'm just letting it go the way it is, all right, and um, it's doing its own thing here, all right, now, let's move along, all right, spirits, tell me what Pisces need enough, the night of swords is the fastest moving night, also, it can mean that somebody is running towards that bike, oh, uh, the Knight of Swords can be a person that comes in and out of your life, okay? Someone that moves quickly. But the thing about this Knight of Swords, look at it. Who is it and what is it doing there? Because it looked like it got a bow and an arrow, all right? And then it got a bird that's leading him 
to go somewhere to get on this bike and move along. Um, it shows that is he's running as fast as he can to get away from something or to go somewhere. He's not on a bike, so I'm not going to say he's running um, from something, but I feel like he's running to get on that bike to go to a certain destiny or somewhere or to someone, okay? And it's a bird that's showing him the way to go. Um, all right, so let's find our Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Okay, Oh, and guess who came out? The King of Swords. So this King of Swords is looking, and believe me, it got every kind of bird it is around him. This King of Swords may be the kind of person that can suck your energy, um, to just a person that thrives to drain you, a person that um, stays in the head, a person that's looking at something here moving, wanting to, to get on that damn bike and move forward, coming towards you. There's something here that I feel like this man is looking at. Um, he already got the bird over his head. There's plenty of birds around him, but... He's trying to get somewhere, okay? He's running to get on that bike to get somewhere, all right? And he's going straight forward, okay? Um, it's not it's not showing him going um back. It's it's move it's a movement, but it's going straight forward. And he's looking at how he's gonna get there, all right? How he's gonna make this move to move forward. It ain't showing him going backwards. It's showing him making that curve, like going this way, in a new direction, all right? He's thinking. The king of swords, very strong-minded, very smart, very intelligent, all right? Um, they're not big spenders, but you, you, the king of swords um, can be a person that, Holds on to their money, all right? Don't, are not flamboyant. Um, very logical, all right? But can suck your can suck your energy out of you. It's like this, this king of sword is an energy sucker, okay? Um, can stay in his head, all right? Always want to move freely. They just like to be free. They like to move. They don't like to sit still. All right? They like to go. They like to drink. They like to party, smoke, whatever they do. Um, but it's like he got a sword in his hand. But he's just trying to see how to get back or go to a place. All right? Um, he does a lot of overthinking, all right, for the next plan, how he's going to move. Um, these people probably been through a lot in their life and don't talk about it. They, if they love you, they love you, okay? They, um, they really hard. They, I think they hard to get with their kids, so. They're not people that you will consider to be lovable when it comes to their kids. I would think that the woman would take that place or the man. But they're not lovable to be with people. They're kind of cold. Kind of hard for you to understand. All right? Tell me more about this. Somebody is in all in their head. All up in their head right now. Somebody here is so in their head. I feel like you got somebody in their fucking head, all right? This this person here is, oh, excuse me, Pisces. I don't know, what the fuck? I feel like this person is all in their head, and they got you 
Like, you don't understand. Like, you trying to figure this one out. It's the nine of swords. Like, you can't get sleep thinking about something. You know, you don't, this person got you all fucked up. Because this person, you don't know what to think about this person. Or I can say, you know, maybe you feel like, or maybe this person, but it got a woman here, all right? So you, it's like, you not, you got something going on in your head all the time about this King of Swords. Um, maybe you can't stop thinking of what it is or how they are or the things they do and say um, that don't match up to them, don't match up to you, all right? But it's like you're looking at both of y'all got the same thing going on. Looking, you looking, you got your heart in the cage looking at the future. And he's looking at a way to how to get back to you. Look at this. Look, look, you got your back turned on him. Okay. Both of y'all holding on to the sword. But it's downwards. It's not like you arguing. You're mad. It's just like you done. But this person's got a lot to think about. Okay. Maybe they think about which, how they're going to come to you in a different way. But you're looking at it like I need to see something new. I, this person is too much. This person likes to keep you in your head. Like to keep you wondering. Thinking. You, don't, you need to be with somebody that ain't got you all. Always thinking, who needs to think this much? I mean, damn. If you want to think this much and you somebody going to have you in your head like this, it's fucking ridiculous. To two people, um, you know, it's like, I feel like he's sucking your energy. Like, he's, it's not a happy moment. It's, it's always figuring things out with this person. Um, but you looking at what's what's to come, what's new. Okay, now what I do. All right, you don't have time for this. You're looking for it's not like it's not like this person just drains you. It, it just drains everything about you, and that's what I don't like. All right, it's like it's to you. This person is too much work. And I'm going to keep saying it, work that you don't get paid to do. All right? This person is work that you don't get paid to do. So you're doing a job that is not paying you. This person wants you to work for free for them. Taking too much of your time and everything. Just everything. It's like this person, it's not the kind of person that, you know, it's hard to work with this person. This person is very hard for you to work with this person. All right? In a relationship or anything else. All right? Tell me more. Tell me more. But this person's really thinking about how to move. And it looks like they're making a U-turn coming your way. Okay, the three of pinnacles working together, bringing ideas. This person needs to work with you. Okay, cooperate with you, communicate with you, have some type of understanding with you. I feel like it is it's working. It got three people here. He's trying to mastermind shit. Then he got somebody reading how to put um, the ingredients together, and then he got you mixing the ingredients. Um, but it needs to have some type of cooperation. It's something here that is needs to be worked together. And now see three people. All right. This something here needs to be worked out. Something here needs to say, are you a partner that are, is going to be working with me? Are you wanting to work in a business with me? Are you trying to work in this relationship? But I see three people here. Three damn people. All right. Three people. And I don't know if this person is working with another person or involved with another person. Maybe at work. Um, I don't know. But it's, it's, 
there's another person involved here. I feel like every, and maybe it's something here that everybody should just come to the table and say what they need to say. Or bring something to light. All right? The Three of Pentacles is somebody, it could be somebody that want to work with you and a partner. Just Aquarius. It could be a Gemini. It could be a Libra. But I feel like it. It's a lot. It's a lot to work with this person. This person is not doing their part. All right? It's like they want to put you to work, but they want you to cooperate. They want you to bring something to the table. They, they, it's like this person want to see you do something. And maybe that's what they feel like you're not doing something. Or like you waiting for, for something to be given to you. It, this person got a lot in their mind about working together with you or the kind of person that you are, okay? But this nine of swords, it said the, the highest priest. Look at you. You're like, something is nagging at you, this little ass girl on the side pulling your dress. You look beautiful. But you walking around like you trying to figure this out. And it's like you're being very secretive or moving very quietly. Because remember, you got the yin and the yang. And it's not like um, you, you're, you have a lot that you don't talk about. You have a lot that is not this person's business. All right. This person seems like they just want to stretch you out. Stress you out. That's what they, they're constantly stressing you out about. Dumb shit. That ain't got nothing to do with them. All right? But you looking at this per You looking at this person. You looking at almost like it's, it's the three of pentacles. It's got to do with your money, how you work. Maybe you feel like this person is seeing someone else, working with someone else, doing for somebody else. But you're looking at things closely, all right? I see you got a cross on your neck. You're very spiritual. You're seeing things for what it is. They can't pull any doubt, anything out on you because you're too fucking smart. And you're not letting nobody get away with shit, all right? You're coming out and you're looking at this person that had you in your thoughts, in your head. You're looking at this person like, all right, this person say they want to work with me, but it seems like there's something else here that they're not telling you. All right? They're trying to keep that to themselves. They're trying to work, make sure that they can work with everybody or keep everybody happy in something that they're doing. They want to make sure it works out for everybody. So it's you, him, and somebody else. And you, you got a feeling there's somebody there. Maybe this person is, um, you know, I don't know. Maybe you, it's somebody, that, I don't know if they got more than you as far as material, as far as money. But it's, I feel like this person is still trying to work with two other people. You and someone else. in something here. But you're figuring it out. You see right through this person. They can't play with you. Right? Tell me more about this Queen of Swords. Tell me about this Queen of Swords. Tell me, well, tell me about what the highest priest is. Really, it's somebody you know. Somebody from your past. They may be younger than you. Okay? Or act younger than you. But it's someone you know here. Okay? And it's like they can't... It's, it's something about this person that... I feel like you give them more than they give you. Alright? You're very emotional when it comes to this person. This person likes to have you in your head and in your feelings. Alright? What came out with this that I don't like is the Five of Swords. Right, whoever this person is, it's like 
And I keep saying, I feel like it's a third person involved. Because the five of swords, it's like he's taken, he already got three swords. And he, but look at this picture, it's crazy. Does this person think, um, I feel like this person may, a real rough person. Somebody's cold as ice. Somebody that don't give a fuck. All right? Somebody that can tie you up or leave you for dead and, and tie somebody up. You know, I, I still feel like there's a third person in this in this situation. This person is so dangerous. It's like they can hurt you and not give a fuck. All right? But it, it, it's, it's a lot of source in here. It's a lot of thinking. It's a lot of, a whole lot of thoughts. Somebody is thinking on how to do something to you and get away with it. It's like you can give everything you want to this person, but this person's always, it's, I feel like this person is trying to, Get away with a lie or something here is just don't feel right, right? Because and, and it's not good. They try to do it. Look at the misc. Like you can get away with it. You know, it's like they taking you somewhere or they doing something to you. But it's like you don't want to care. And they're the manipulators, right? The users, the the um love bombing, the um breadcrumbers, okay? Tell me more. Tell me more. The Ace of Swords is not, uh, this Ace of Swords is not a no car, but it's something that needs to be done over in a different way. Something that um, is going to take a longer time. Okay. It, it seems like it's a short time, but it, it's something that you need to do and do it in a different way. Because it got you sitting there looking at something here. Right? Thinking about the future. But you're thinking about doing it in a different way. It's, it's not saying that you can't do it. It's the ace. It's saying that it's going to take longer. And also not only longer. You got to redo something in a different way. You got you to gotta think about moving around this situation in a different way. You can't deal with this person with your heart. You got to deal with this person with your thoughts. You can't give into a person like this person. This person is cold and very nasty. You know, it's like you got your source up, completely up. You starting this thing in your head like, I need to keep my source up because I need to really know how to deal with this person and, and come at it right. Right? You got the seven of cups. And it's this person here. I feel like this person um, has a lot to choose from. A lot of offers. This person has a lot of options. Okay. All kinds of options. Good ones, bad ones. All kinds of motherfucking options. All right. This person may think he's, uh, I don't know. But he got a lot of options. But he's trying to get away with something and you're trying to do something in a different way you can't keep doing it the same way you got to move along and do things in a different way you got to take your heart and put it away you got to start thinking right because you got somebody here that likes to play games love bombing um like uh come at you like with um bread crumbing you like this person is so foolish and look at Look at this. At the bottom of this deck, the three of swords. The three of pentacles. Is somebody else in this person's life? All right. This person has caused a lot of pain, a like hurt. Um, it's something here that doesn't make you feel good. This person is thinking about a lot of shit. All right. They, because they, it's like you don't want to be with this person. You just need to end it. This person ain't good for you. All right? City slicker, you call them motherfuckers. All right? This person wants to be here and there and all that shit. But want you to work with this. 
That's the thing. They want they want you to be a part of the team. Ain't that something? Okay. The four pinnacles holding on to dear life with their money. This got to do with somebody here like don't want to give, but got they have enough to give but don't want to give. Alright? They're holding tight. They round village. A lot of people live around them. They live, um, but they close off and they're turning their back. They don't want people to know how much money they got. They don't want people to know anything. It's like this person wants, they, they just want you to, um, to work with them. But work with them. Breadcrumbing. Uh, just bombing you in every way they can. Okay? But they don't want to give what they... It's like they don't want to give it all. They want to hold on to it. But it maybe they hold it on too tight to something or someone. Right? Tell me about this Five of Swords. It's going to be a tower moment here. Right? This tower moment is coming. It, it, because it seems like this person keeps you in your head and your feelings. They're trying to get away with something. They don't give a fuck. But it's a, it's it's a it's it's something going to happen that's going to bring in a tower moment. This person is just holding on too tight to everything, and it's going to be a tower moment. All right, for them. All right. Tell me more. Tell me more. Oh come on now. All right, when all of this came out, it came out just like this. This person got a lot. Of people to choose from a lot of options, but you try to do things that did you just looking for? You're like, I don't give a fuck. I need to move forward. This person is is too much. It's like the five of cups, and it's just how this is a reading by itself. Look at this. After this tower moment, this person's gonna realize that you know they looking at everything they lost and they're not even worrying about. Um, the good. It's like they keep looking at the castle. They keep looking at you, but they worrying about all the shit, or either you worrying about everything you've been through. It's not worth going back. This person's too much, right? But this person wants to offer you their cup, all right? But you're looking at this, looking at them like I don't need to be around this person. This person. It's like you keep thinking about everything. That went wrong, and you're not looking at it for the love that it still has or it can have. This person wants to offer you the King Cup, offer you everything. They want to come back with this emotional feeling, and oh, I miss you, and I can make things happen. But, but you got you don't see things because um, you blind to it. You don't want to see things. You don't want to believe in them. You feel like they're liars. You feel like they're users. Okay. Um, but if you take your blindfolds off, you know, you can see that somebody here wants to come and take a leap of faith with you. All right. They may be younger than you. They may play little games. They like to just keep, they like to feel like, oh, well. Let me come back into your life. Let me do this. You're not looking at this. Somebody is feeling like they've been left out in the cold. All right? But they want to offer you their cup, but they can't seem to see which way they want to go because they blind to it. They don't want to see it. They don't want to figure nothing out. All right? But they want to come and take a leap of faith. But Pisces, I feel like you're doing things in a different way. You're not moving the way you used to move. And this person cannot play with you. This person got too many options. This person, I just feel like this person needs to realize what they want. This person, I feel like, is all over the place. Don't know which way to go. Okay? Um, this person is tight when it comes to their money. They flip-flop, flip-flop. It's like this person don't know what the fuck way to go. Okay? They want to... They. It's like 
put it like this. It's like somebody going to the store. And they can pick anything they want. And they constantly buying shit. Just dumb shit. But they constantly trying to tell you how to live your life. Okay? Um, they want you to play by the rules. Their rules. Alright? Um, and when you don't play by the rules, they get mad. It's like they're trying to build you to, to how they want you to be. They, they're too controlling. Pisces, you need to really realize that this person is an energy sucker, sucker, a narcissist, um, a controlling person, somebody that's always acting like they run in the world or they got this and they got that. You don't know what the fuck they got. Just because they tell you something don't mean shit. This person want to keep every nick and penny to themselves. And to me, it's like they drink. Do they? Are they drinkers? Do they like to drink a lot? Or, you know, because there's somebody here that is really likes to drink or just spend their money on alcohol or drugs or whatever. But they still trying to control you. Um, they they spenders, but not on you. They crumb change you, and they think they talk like they got a whole lot of shit going on, but you don't know nothing. You really don't know this person for who they are. You really don't know the truth about this person. All right, I do know that they hold on tight to their money, and they tell you a lot of shit, but they don't mean the shit. They love bombing you. They um, bread crumbing you. They want you to, they want to manipulate you to be who they want you to be, okay? Be careful with this person. This person always thinking about another way of getting back, okay? They always thinking that, um, how can I do this or get back to this or work with this? Always trying to work around shit to work for them, not for you. So be careful. All right, Pisces, if you need a primary to get it for me or someone else, I love you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.